there's been uh, a bit of an f- online feud between someone with um, a rabbi who I'm sure you, you may well know, who is, um, he wrote a book called Kosher Sex and his uh, daughter um, has a kosher sex shop, basically, I think in Israel, which sells like uh, se- sex toys and those kind of things. And you've obviously been a marriage counselor and there have been people um, trying to describe it as you know filthy and smears and this is not what uh, rabbi should be doing and all that kind of, it's not him himself it's actually his, his daughter but um but either way i just wanted to just take all the hysteria to one side and actually just just talk this through sane in a sane way which is that i think there's it seems to me on the surface there's something very noble and, and in many ways you do this as well in trying to enhance marital intimacy um my but my question was uh, and and also to, to even describe it as holy, and I think people just thinking of it, it's not that is they've just um, mis- misguided. But specifically around this idea of like toys and like whether it should be um, our our responsibility to be in even in 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 that kind of business, even if it is let's say a legitimate way to help enhance intimacy. Just wanted your thoughts on this whole subject because it's 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 all a bit unclear to me, and you've got people pointing fingers and all various directions it's another example of using words that have no meaning toys cannot produce intimacy it's an oxymoron you can't be intimate with a toy (laughs) it's so embarrassing (laughs) the suggestion that intimacy can be improved with a toy? What in the world do you think intimacy is? The truth of the matter, this very sad truth of the matter is, toys emasculate men. Men are emasculated in our society by pornography because pornography basically says let someone give you pleasure let something give you pleasure watching toying playing anything but take responsibility for giving pleasure that's emasculating making sex passive for men is emasculating which frustrates women (laughs) and there goes all your intimacy you see a lot of women though saying though come on like for, for us like some certain levels of pleasure just can't be achieved without having some of these things involved and so it's just you know men get over yourself get over yourselves men you know That's right. We don't need you. This is going to enhance intimacy. (laughs) (laughs) It's going to enhance singlehood. So you think they don't have a place in marital intimacy? No, they're destroying intimacy. Hmm. And it has nothing to do with religion. It's biological. Would you, would you have, go for it, go please. Men have to initiate intimacy and give pleasure. Mm. When men start being passive, it's all over. Mm. Very sad. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Okay. Um, so people, when people were describing it as like, you know, this filthy what you're doing, I presume you wouldn't necessarily go that, that far. You just think it's not constructive. Well, I think emasculating men is pretty filthy. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Fascinating. Worse, worse than filthy. Yeah. The, the, the other thing I think as well is that, let, let's just be brutally honest here, okay? There's, yes, physical, the physical side of intimacy is very nice. But I don't see how it's ever going to 
go massive and reach massively new bounds of heights with any kind of toy or anything at the end of the day it has certain limitations and where there's clearly room for so much depth which probably does enhance all those things is that emotional intimacy and connection which has infinite depth and and will forever deepen and i'm sure enhance the the physical and in, intimate experience would you would you agree with that of course the sharing of pleasure is supposed to be very personal hmm. not objectified yeah toys <laughs> is the ultimate pornography. But haven't we been so brainwashed by society to make us think that that's, that's where it's at and not to realize, you know, like how much one's own attraction can grow by getting to know the other person more and to deepen the relationship and go through things together. Like we're just yeah. totally brainwashed. Look, even, even the title of his book, Kosher Sex, is sex always kosher? All sex is kosher? Obviously was, not. Yeah, but I don't think he was implying that all sex is kosher. Okay, so when is sex kosher and what makes it kosher? It chews its cud? <laughs> Has split hooves? What makes it kosher? It's mar marital. Intimacy. Mm, mm. If it's intimate, it's kosher. If it's just sex, it's not mm. kosher. Mm. Mm. Toys are just sex. It is not kosher. Mm. Yeah, and in many ways, it doesn't make sense that that's going to be the art. If, if it's just about the physical pleasure and the variety of that physical pleasure, then you're basically conceding that it'd be better not to be married. It's actually saying physical pleasure you can get from a machine. You don't need people. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I just want to ask your thoughts. There's no ethical issue in the fact that we're talking, obviously, about Rabbi Boteaf and, you know, his daughter has a shop in Israel. Is there, are there any ethical issues that we're... Because I feel it needs to be discussed, but of course it might... Do, it might harm, harm them uh, in some way. Again, if you go public, then you can't complain that people heard or noticed or are talking about it. Yeah, yeah. You make your public statement, you're going to get public reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I'm just, che just checking. It makes sense to me. Just wanted to check the morality of that. <laughs> Yeah, if you're trying to keep it private and people keep invading your privacy, then you have an objection. Right. But if you go public, it's public. Yeah, yeah. And we're entitled to bring our version of clarity to the Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We're not saying that they're bad people. We're just disagreeing with their theory. <laughs> 